Alrighty, hello and welcome back. I wanted to jump in uh, while I was autoing just to give a quick, um, a, like a slightly um, an update essentially, right, of what's going on here. Uh, you can see currently we're at 2683 um, on the regular dungeon and I've pumped quite a few, um, I've been enhancing my um, relics clearly. Um, and we're just trying to get some of the best loot we can possibly get to continue the progress. Uh, you can see my healer got put to sleep, which has been a real problem for us, and it looks like this is going to be what ends up killing us. We already lost our knight, which is not good. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to... Okay, well, we just lost our healer, so now the run is basically over. There's no way we're going to make it too terribly much further. I was kind of hoping we'd make it to um, the boss. Well, it's still possible, but not very likely. Not without a healer, so... The good news is this is the this is, I believe is the furthest I've been, so I figured you know might as well record it and give you guys a heads up while we're here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wipe right right about now. Let's do that. I can warp to 2690 though, or 2691, so we should be cool there. We're not going to make it through these last two. I don't, I don't believe. But even if we did, we're most certainly not going to make it through the boss. Yeah, we're done. Perfect. That was perfect timing, because there's something else I'm going to try as well. Look at that, a legendary draw off that guy, and off that guy. Alright, there we go. Boom. So this is what we got. Bam. 8,900 essence earned. 69.7 million. Uh, I'm just going to roll through some of the legendaries here, just so you can have an idea of what you're getting around this level. Um, yeah. A pretty successful run considering I started, I think, at level um, 1900 and I went to almost 2700. So that's pretty decent. And as you can see, I mean, we're, it's with the way I have them geared out, it's uh, pretty heavy on the legendaries now. I mean, so far it's like legendaries and, and rares. So uh, most of this stuff is just going to get sold. Um, when we do the consolidation, but it's nice to know that we're getting a lot of stuff. Oh, we even got some shades. That's kind of cool. Okay. So, where does that put us? Well, first and foremost, I am still running the attack boost. 30% uh, physical attack is pretty good, but we're going to do something slightly different because I'm going to go in here. I've actually leveled all the way up to 191. I got to the boss but then stopped the run because I want to show off the bosses in here. They're basically little baby versions, like little, um, what do you call it? It, it? It's like it's their alter ego. Um, so the, the first one that we saw in the previous episode, that, that was the equivalent of the first boss at level 100 in the main dungeon. Uh, I forget his name, but you can you'll you can look back at the videos if you want to see what that's like okay so just for fun um i did put together a different type of run so we're gonna we're gonna run something slightly different this time and it's gonna consist of the dark maze strategy uh we'll need one thief and we'll need one of these guys and it's going to be now. And essentially, this is going to be ultra in game, and we'll get there eventually. But what I have equipped here is not necessarily what we'll be running. But I'm going to liquidate. Yeah, I have 81k of just extra stuff. And then let's see if there's anything better that we have. Oh yeah, we got. We definitely have better stuff there. Okay. I just have them in this because it's 46% boost to magic attacks. I don't think I have anything better than that, so we'll just quickly look. I don't think we do, but... Okay. That could be cool, but... Oh, these are... That's a silver, so yeah, actually, that is better. We'll definitely put that on our first two. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, that's the one that I didn't have. Uh, all right, I need to remove this one and put, I need this, I need the best one and then the first two should have the best stuff. Okay, now, what about these? 
So you can see the, uh, so far we're up to level 3 on the, those legendaries. Level 3 on that one, level 4 on the Demon Swords. We've gotten all the way up to level 5 on this now, which is pretty good. Uh, level 5 on that. Level 6 on, on those. Level 10, we've maxed this stuff out. So these are all the max rolls you could possibly get. Uh, 57 damage, though, versus this, which is 80. I mean, that's a higher crit, but at this point, we're, we're, we're mainly, mainly capped when we're looking at that stuff. I'm just going to flip through so you can kind of see where we're at on some of this stuff, but... Okay. Anyways, uh, it looks like, uh, for right now, this the, the level 10 magic wand is pretty much the best we can do, so... Um, there will be better stuff later, but we've got to get to it. So, anyways, um, do we have better shields? We do, actually. Okay, well, let's go ahead and switch those out. Perfect. I mean, not that it really matters, but... Looks like we've got the best four shields. So, four shields, just 36% boost to magic attacks. Uh, each one of these guys, another 15% boost. You could put other things in here, but this is just to show off the maximum I can get, which right now we have... 322% boost to magic attacks, 30% boost to physical, which doesn't really matter, um, and the rest of it's just irrelevant here. Uh, and you can see her magic master gives her 80% boost to magical attacks. So let's go ahead and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this late loadout here. I'm not gonna save these two because I want them to remain what they normally are. All right. Did I check these by chance? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I did. All right. All right. So, essentially, what this roll like revolves around. First, let me show off the relics. I probably should have showed that initially. We're up to 95 on attack, 90 on health, 65 on gold. I only did a little bit on that. Um, uh, something I learned here recently. You do not, even though this doesn't cap. Apparently, according to the wiki, because I did have to look this up to see if this was legit or not. Um, according to the wiki, you do not want to go over 100%. It, it has no effect. And I know on my main game, I have this at at least 1,000. So once you get this to 100, you'll be getting the maximum amount of essence you could possibly get. And it might be a good idea to actually boost that. Um, we brought our region up to 50, and then you'll notice uh, the Dark Mage is at 45 now, Knight is at 45, Thief is at 45, and Healer is at 45. So, what are we going to do? What do we prioritize? Because there's lots of things I'd like to do, right? But for what we're about to do, what I really need is magic. Let's bring this up. Let's bring this up to 50. <laughs> Okay, so 150%. So now when we go and look at this, we have, what, 397% boost to magic attacks. Now, what else could we do here? We could potentially boost what? Do we have, do we have anything that would boost magic? It looks like it's only the magic crit, so maybe we take him out. Oh, this this one too. So this is a percentage, and this is a critical. So let we're just going to equip him just for fun. We'll, we'll take Charlie out. And uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump right to the end, and then I'm going to show off how this is going to work. Eventually, once we once I get enough stuff in there, uh, into the um, once I boost this and boost this enough, and actually, you know what? We'll do that. Look at how fast we rip through this. So quick. It's just so quick. Uh, we'll do the other stuff later, but for now, yeah, that's where we're going to stay here. And then how about this, maybe? Okay. 85%. So we only lack in about 15%. And I could sell stuff. Um... 69.8 million um that's that's not i mean that's good but and if we wanted to convert it we'd get another 1400 essence so i'm now 
torn between whether I should convert or whether I should start saving up for the uh, VIP stuff because I really want all sight and I'm not that terribly far away but I'd also like to get this like this would be huge for progression and the my time in the game is no longer valid because sometimes I'm gonna let this run overnight so I did last night just for fun and uh, it did all right so okay so where does that leave us here um, oh, and one more thing I found out um, with the with the caps so like five caps one cap Okay, the way you get caps and I had forgotten this it's been so long since I've looked at this but The first thing that happens is in in a dungeon run you have to make 1.5 billion with a B billion gold um, once you do that and you exit the dungeon, something's going to pop up that essentially lets us go and use this portal. And we can then, from that point on, when you're in the dungeon and you earn 1.5 billion, it will automatically convert and give you one cap. And then caps, even though it, you, you don't get the efficiency that you would if you were converting gold, um, you can use one cap to like increase your, your things here by like like 10 or 100 levels something like that i think it's 100 levels at a time which sounds really good but and it for convenience sake it's fine but if you actually want the most out of your um money you the conversion is better if you do it this way than if you use caps you use caps for other stuff too so and we'll get to that eventually as well but i just wanted you to know okay bam let's let's pop in here we're gonna see the first or the, i'm sorry the second boss and then i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and take this until we get to maybe we'll even get to the third boss now this should be pretty easy uh, relatively speaking but let me turn off auto okay i want to show what so you saw that that was 4800 right okay well i just let her do her thing 4800 is what she's hitting for all right now what what the aoe is this now that does 1093 so not bad right so there has to be at least three enemies or more before she just auto do it. I don't remember if this is how we did it before or if something has changed, but okay, well we didn't really need to work, but alright. Alright, let's see. Leximus. What is this place? Humiliating humiliating, yes, but I can manage. Another cla another chance to defeat you all. Okay, buddy, I hate to break this to you, but you're done. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> These guys are obviously going to stand no chance at this point, so. Now, I did forget to equip a stone that would um, reduce each magic cast to one, but that's not a huge deal because we're not going to be going forever in here. If you're going forever, you might want to do that or you're at the mercy of the fountain. All right, so bam, I'm going to do the first two and you'll see just how much faster this is and then I can go to auto after the first two battles. And this is this is this is the actual in game except they'll be hitting for billions of damage so eventually See, that also has a chance to confuse but since it's outright killing them that's what you really want the the single target one takes a little bit longer and we're just going to blast through this for a little bit cuz I'd like I need to get this past a certain point and then once we've seen all the bosses here I was supposed to do this, but I just messed up again. So the first two, right? If it's two or less, then they're not going to use the AOE. Now, if you hand, if you if you kind of coddle this, you can make it go even faster. But of course, when you're away from the keyboard or you're letting this run while you're doing the dishes or something like that, uh, it's just going to do whatever, however it prioritizes. Like there's scripts in the background of what it does, you know. You can see that's infinitely faster than one, two, three, four, five. At attack, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Clearly, it's way quicker. So I'll try to get in the habit of doing this. These should go relatively quickly, and then I can just turn auto on for the rest of them. And if you get into a routine, this is pretty quick, with the exception of that's being a little slow. Now, eventually, at some point, this won't one-shot, but then the next one could go, and then the third one could go, right? So you could potentially go relatively far with this. And as I had mentioned um, previously, we're going to go a little bit far here. Uh, not super far, but 
a little bit far. I'd like to, at minimum, get a couple of bosses uh, per video, and this is what I'll do. I'll just, I'll progress this a little bit each time, and then, um, yeah, we'll just go from there. Um, I'll bring you back in a, in a big run the next time, after some time has passed, and there's something, hopefully, more to see. I mean, I can't progress infinitely, but, you know, at some point, you, it might slow down a bit. We're already on 240. I mean, that's not bad, right? Which, of course, is nothing compared to the uh, the regular game. But remember, this is where we get the headaches. So, yeah, I mean, at some point, we're going to have to progress it. Also, I was right knowing that uh, you just can't really uh, see how they double went that time. Anyways, you can't, you really can't get this magic build online without um, sinking quite a bit into the classes as far as, um, as far as uh, the essence is concerned. So while you could potentially try this earlier, I still think melee builds are the way to go. It's almost as if the game kind of forces you into it anyway. Um, you can try having one person do magic, I guess. I mean, that could work for sure, but I feel like pure melee probably works just as good. Of course, this is making it look pretty strong, but again, imagine those uh, the AOE doing like 10,000 damage on its own, meaning the single target will be way higher than that. I mean, this is only doing 1,000, so times 10 on this. That's going to be an investment for sure. Oh, whoops, I didn't need to continue, because we actually want the fountain to reset. So that was my fault. Whatever, when she can't do it anymore. Yeah, okay. Cool. We need a fountain, though, for sure. That'd be nice. When she actually runs out of magic, it's gonna be in the way. I really should have quipped her with that item. I did forget that, so that's my fault. And now she'll do single target. He's basically invincible until you kill his minions, I believe. Obviously, the loot right now is absolute garbage, so... But yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much it. I hope we get a fountain. Oh, come on. That would have been perfect if that was a fountain, but nope. Oh, there it is. Yes! Got lucky. There it is. That's what you need. And we're already at 300, so we're going to go a couple of levels. We may get... I mean, to be honest, there's nothing super special about these bosses. I just want to show them on camera the first time. So... She's talking about me. So we've got the second one. Now we're going to do the third one. Maybe we'll get the fourth one. Maybe I'll try to do the fourth and the fifth. We'll see. Ultimately, I need to be running this. Okay. Gan Ganji? Ganji? Goodbye, sir. Oh, he survived. Double shot. Okay, there we go. Poor little fella. You'll be all right, buddy. We'll never know if he was powerful or not. Poor little fella. But yeah, this is uh, just pretty fun. It's something a little different than what we've been doing. It's just so much faster. Good lord. Makes me want to do it in the main dungeon, but I can't. With where I'm at currently in the main dungeon, there's no way this would work. Yeah, now we're basically praying for the fountains. 
eventually it won't matter because you'll have so much magic, it, it, you'll, it won't be a big deal, you know, one way or another. I don't know how high in, in this particular dungeon you have to get before you start seeing mythics, but my guess is it's pretty high. If I'm guessing, that's which I'm 100% guessing. And if you're playing it how I'm doing it right now, and you're sw you're swat you're, uh, like switching between, and she's not doing the first two uh, like areas, she's not doing the uh, the more powerful attack. You should last a little while. Double. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that bad of a pattern to get used to. I'm just excited we're actually progressing this dungeon because. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Pretty strong attack, though. Ah, oh, there's our fountain. That's what we need. Perfect. As long as you're lucky enough to get fountains every now and then, you should be fine. So really, technically, you shouldn't need that item to make you know each cast one MG. But if you want to be super safe, you could do it that way. Push two, and we switch. Actually take this to 500 and then I'll level um, if we can kill the 500 boss I'll get all the way up to 550 and then we'll try to finish the second half the next time I bring you guys back I'm not sure if this group can do it like I'm not sure if they'll be she'll be strong enough but I'll probably have to put more um, more essence in in the stuff for them but it might work who knows I can't see their health, I have no idea where we're at, you know? Another fountain, perfect. It's been pretty uh, generous with that here recently. Absolutely destroyed. That is so fast. Just remember, you, 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 don't, you want this guy for the no ambush, and you want her for um, all treasures, so I mean, technically you could run all five, but I don't think it would be as good. It could, it could still be, though. But if you get ambushed, then, then, you know, then they tear you up, and that would obviously not be ideal. Unless, of course, you want to lose for some reason. Dude, look at this. Another fountain. Really? That's, that's insane. Yeah, that's the other reason. You have to have the knight just for that. So yeah, never mind. You have to run the night at minimum. That no ambush as well. It's just it's just crucial. And then you might as well have a thief in here. You can see that we're not we're not exactly struggling right now. This is gonna be a relief, man. I can't wait. To so once I get to a thousand, I'm not gonna show every fight, you know, every boss because that's, that's pretty much it. Once we once we get the bosses all shown on the camera here. That is so satisfying. It really is. It's a snowman. I know they're just how it swaps, but it's still cool. You know, for such a for such a chill, simple game. I've said it before. I just I just really love this. I'm glad I took uh, so long away from it and came back. It's, it's almost like a new game, even though I remember a lot of the stuff. A lot of the stuff I didn't remember, and it was kind of fun relearning it. So. Okay, a little bit of a warp zone. We'll warp right past the boss. Now this can actually be pretty helpful too to make progress. Huh? Yeah. I mean, we are getting 7,700 gold a piece. Maybe, maybe shifting to this dungeon would be better. Just in general, I don't know. We're already at 73 mil. I know we came in here with like 63 or something, but. The loot is garbage, though, but... Okay. Well, I seriously doubt any of the bosses all the way through a thousand are going to be all that challenging for us, but I guess we'll find out. Let's 
I'm tempted to just have a longer episode and just finish this whole thing to, to 1,000. Telwick. Okay, well, we'll see if you survive this. Poor little guy. Got absolutely destroyed. So that would have been the equivalent of the level uh, 400 boss. And we do it again. Oh, and now it's not killing them in one go. Interesting. Does that matter? Okay, good. We got the fountain. That's great. Now, now it'll just be a double go. Should be fine. Well, that gives me an idea of where we're at power-wise, so... Now remember, we can come in with our melee go, and we should be fine. I mean, it should be no, no problem at all. I just thought it would be fun to show off what this is going to look like once it's like... Once we get it super ultra-powerful... It'll be amazing, but... Oops. I'll give her a little action, too. Okay, there we go. A little finicky here, because we have to we have to hand-do the, the first two, but that's cool. It'd be much better when it's fully hands-off. At least they go quickly, though, so that's nice. All I know is this dungeon is definitely what you want to be running later on. Once you can get to like level 8,000, at least at least 6,000, I'm thinking, in the main dungeon, maybe closer to 8,000, um, then you shift over and you're you're pushing this dungeon. But I just don't know how early you can come to this. So oh, I'm just an idiot. I'm not paying attention. Perfect. Okay, a little bit of a warp. I don't mind warps here. Okay, well now we're gonna start up. Yeah, I think we'll try to get the five, level 500 boss. Hopefully we'll be strong enough for it. I think we will. I mean, these guys haven't even attacked yet, and she barely gets to go, so... I mean, yeah, this is good. I'm just thinking about how much further I'm, I'm going to be able to push it, actually. I'm going to have to put a lot into the, um, into the magic stuff. But we will get there. You can rest assured. All right. That's the best thing we could possibly see, really. That or a warp. Wow, okay. Fountain and then fountain. Pretty generous, game. Pretty generous. did just get a legendary right there. But I assume it'll be the, the crappy loot. Yeah, this is all garbage here. Oh, man. potentially have all three of them go if we really wanted to, so that means we could push further than this just with the current build. And we will. We'll try. We'll continue to try. 
I'm just not sure how far it'll take us. Is it worth coming in here knowing we might fail with this setup? Unless, of course, the next by the next time I've already put a lot of um, additional power into that. Maybe, maybe we'll see. I guess it just depends on what I get done before then. Great. Another fountain. Amazing. Meanwhile, these these bros are just chilling over here. I want that speed upgrade, man. That's gonna be massive. I, I cannot wait for you guys to see the speed is uh, essentially double. It goes so fast. It's, you can if you set it overnight and you're powerful enough, you can wake up to you know. Well, I guess technically you wouldn't have billions of gold. You'll just be capped at like 1.5 billion, but you'll have you can, you can have hundreds or thousands of caps. And think about that. Each cap is 1.5 billion. So. Put to good. We need the caps. Also, I I know I didn't mention this earlier, but the caps you can also use the caps to purchase. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but like the uh, the wizard and. Gladiator, and the Innkeeper, and something else. There's another one. You can purchase those guys too. You're gonna want to do that eventually, and they are expensive. I mean, some of them are 50 caps. One of them's 100 caps. I think two of them are 50 caps, and uh, 50 caps each. And then one's 25 caps, and one's something else. So yeah, I mean, you're gonna, you're, you're definitely going to want to have a ton of caps. Plus, again, you can use those to level relics really quickly. It, again, it's not the most efficient thing to do, but at some point you're just going to do it because you're going to be making so much money it won't matter. Or at least that's how I, I did it. I didn't even know it wasn't as, um, as efficient. Or at least I don't remember if I remembered that. Maybe I just didn't care. I know I was using them because I was getting them like mad at, at some point. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the little 500 bucks uh, here as well. And then hopefully next time we'll try to get the 600 through 1,000 bosses done. If I can manage it. It'll probably take longer if I don't have this set up there. And by probably, I mean it's guaranteed. But I'll work on powering this up a bit too, so. Alright. Well, little Daisy. 500, huh? So can you survive three of those? Nope. Alright, well there it is. Excellent! Well, now that I know I can run this, I'm going to go ahead and exit. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to kill this guy just for the, the lulls. 105k? Is that what that just gave us? Let's look at that again. No, it's it must have been 10k, right? Yeah, 14k or something like that. Anyways, okay. So let, we're going to exit just because I want to see what we got here. Bam. Okay, we got level three. Oh, so that proves that you can go multiple levels on the pet. That's interesting. Six million. That's actually not that bad. And we got, um, you know, we got the lower level stuff. So nothing, nothing super important here. But whatever. I'm not even going to show that. 722 enemies with that, and we went 500 levels. So okay, six million and 802 essence. Obviously, that's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, okay, let's see here. What does that give us here? So we got five five levels in that, and we're basically back down to 1K. Also, when you convert, make sure you don't convert all of your money because what'll happen is if you convert everything and then you go and you try to warp to a dungeon, you won't have enough money, and then you'll have to downgrade the level of the dungeon so that you can actually run it, which will be kind of annoying. Um, okay, now we get a 15% boost, so the next time I go out, yeah, I'll probably, um, I'll probably run him at some point, um, just to level him up a bit more, but, uh, yeah, that'll be super helpful. 
Um, what else is there? I mean, I will show this off just so you can see where I'm at. I mean, technically it says 63 hours, but remember, it was just sitting idle a lot of the time now, so I'll just flip through some of this stuff, but the time is just going to be messed up at this point. And I'll consolidate all the loot again, and we'll take, we'll take a quick gander at that. So again, if I was going to create my normal build, here's how I would do it. Um, get one of him. Now that we have these guys and we have these guys, it's, it makes it more annoying to get who we need. So it's not a huge deal, but obviously it's just, it's just a little annoying, that's all. What else do we need? Uh, one more thief, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's equipping a bunch of stuff that I don't want them to equip. Why? doing that. That's weird. Alright, well, now I get to go and remove all this. It's kind of annoying, but at least you can see... I don't know why it's doing this. It's kind of weird. Unless, uh, oh, we must have got... You know what happened is, we must have got higher tiers of stuff, and it just didn't equip what I wanted. Alright, well, cool. So, level 3 demon... I'd love to be wearing the gold stuff. Look at that. Level 5 is 120% gold earned. But I need the crit. So my thieves are all going to get this. Level 3. So if, if we were to come back with all level 4 of this, and the save slot says 3 on there, then it'll just equip whatever it wants. That's how it works, basically. So we'll do... We'll do it like this. All right, now weapons. Oh, now we have all level four um, dragon swords, so that's that's actually good. I'm actually, you know, obviously any upgrade we can get is better. Um, so just with that, let's see: 100%, 100%, 100% crit chance, 100%, and 100%. So with that setup, they will never not crit. This that is what you want because any non-crit is basically obviously it's bad okay now these are level 10s of those but we are at level four of these so 70 percent gold versus if we went down to gold here we get 80 percent with no additional bonus and we only have one of them right so this plus the 29 percent that's just better that's just straight better so and remember, I'm, I am now running these. By the way, I have no idea what this ring does. I'd have to look it up. I, it's really annoying to me that it doesn't tell me, but uh, anyways. Uh, that thing I was telling you about that, so this is it, anti-magic bottle. I only have one for some reason, but reduces MP cost to one for the target character, so that would be useful. But anyways, we're running this. Gold bonus and 10% uh, uh, better, uh, a chance of better items for everything. So basically, these are our current stats. 1,035% gold find, and you can read the rest, obviously. 85%, I'd really like to um, to boost the essence up a bit more. So maybe we sell, oops, that's not what I meant. Ugh, really, you're not gonna let me. Okay, well that's, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, that sucks. Do I, do I save 100 million? Do I just keep saving and buy the, uh, clock I don't know that's gonna be a serious grind if I do it but it will speed everything up after that so I'm not sure if that's worth it but anyways that's this is the idea the thought process behind um, how I'm uh, how I'm building these guys out currently and hopefully it's helpful if you know if you're running it and you want to see how, how you do the crit build you've seen how the magic build works but you, again you have to invest heavily in this and this these two are paramount for that, right? Uh, this, remember, keep it 100, no more than that. And then, of course, you're going to want to build the gold up as well. So we can't even get five levels on that. So we'll just hold for now because I don't like to not have any of these. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'll, I'm just going to pick up. I'm just going to back this up a bit um, and go... I'll go to 2300. But yeah, so that's where I'm going to end it. Um, if you found yourself enjoying the video, uh, hit that like button for me. And uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, now would be an awesome time to do it. Anyways, I uh, hope you see, see you in the next episode. Uh, we'll see you then. Have a good one.